right, we're live. Good morning, everyone. Hello. I'm just gonna do a quick share uh, to the other page here. And then there it is. Share to a page. And there we go. Okay, done. Got that. Awesome. All right. Well, welcome everybody to the new revised Magpie page here. Um, we'll just kind of start chatting here and hopefully people will tune in and and watch. Um, so if you have questions, we're, we're definitely open to answering your questions. Uh, feel free to, you know, comment or send us a message or however you want to communicate. So, yeah. So pretty much what we're, <laughs> okay. pretty much what we're talking about today is um, the changes that we, we decided to implement here as far as uh, readings go and then the page that we had to put together. So we're essentially just going to have it be super informal. We're going to talk about, you know, how we, we came up with the idea for all of these uh, updates and, and what it entails if you were to work with us on a reading. And then uh, we'll just kind of, you know, see if you have any comments or questions beyond that. So, yeah. So the first thing we have to chat about is basically how we came up with the idea. So would you like to talk about that mom well I don't know I think I think it all started with I personally did not feel a super um, attachment to any certain deck so I felt like I wanted to create my own but I didn't really want a paper deck so we started collecting things over a year span mm-hmm Things that um, were found, things that were gifted to us, things that we felt a connection to. Um, so we gathered all these things over a period, and each one of them has a thing to us. Mm -hmm. And that's how we, we created our, what you want to call, collective deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, so basically what we do as far as like a magpie reading goes is it's basically a combination of kind of a combination hybrid of bone casting and charm casting. So if you're familiar with bone casting, that's something that a lot of cultures have practiced over the centuries. It's not just uh, an African thing, but you know, native tribes have used bone casting and um, other parts of, you know, European societies back in the day would do bone casting where you actually use bones, animal bones, as well as other found objects or curios. Uh, to to do a reading and then there are people who do charm casting which we have a local person in our area Gretchen she's very um, amazing at that where you actually use charm pieces so like charms that you would make with make jewelry out of to do a reading and so um, I liked the idea of possibly incorporating some bones into my kit but I didn't want that to be just the main thing I wanted to have you know the little objects that I've had um, for a long time plus look for new things to to put in the kit so some of the things that we have in our kits are things like that we've had for a long time mm -hmm. some um, back when I was making jewelry about 10 years ago ish I would get some things that I thought that I would incorporate into a piece and I never did for whatever reason and now I'm like oh well that's perfect that's the right size to put in my kit and so um, that's what I did and then, you know, like Bob said, we've we've found other things to put in there too, so. But yeah, um, so as far as like gathering the objects, we, over a year, pretty much, those for items to put in our kits. And then also what we would put them in, that has been part of the experience too, finding the right sort of 
home for them. And so if you watched my video from the other day, this is the basket that I'm using at the moment. This guy right here, which is kind of cool because he's got feet on him and then you can see stuff in there, so. And then uh, basically the other thing we have is to talk about uh, what a reading is like, so. Well, I think it's pretty much you know what you want out of the reading do you want it to be about relationships do you want it to be about just a general reading of what we see um i don't know it's kind of what their question is or if they don't have a question mm -hmm. um i don't know I pick, you know, we. I think we both pick up things intuitively. So if we have messages that come in during that time, we give those too. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Well, a lot of the times in the past when we've done events or we've worked with people, they ask for a reading, just a general reading. Like they don't, they come in, and they don't have a specific question, which is totally fine. It's just kind of like, well, I'm curious about what my next step is or what's going on right now. Totally valid. Um, and so we'll just do a general reading and in this case we'll just do a general throw just to see what you know your guides and, and spirit wants to tell you and so um, we basically our foundation is the medicine wheel so it incorporates you know the mental the spiritual and the physical and the emotional parts of the body and you can read it that way or you can look at it as a timeline like okay let's look at it as the wheel of the year and so do a reading for my upcoming year. You can do that too. So um, when it comes to, to doing that, that's where the items are put or tossed is onto the medicine wheel. And so we'll read from there. I still plan on incorporating cards because I think that they add to the reading, they add to the experience. I have basically two decks that I identify with very closely. And so you'll see those. Um, added into that too. So the options would be to, you can get a reading from either one of us. So like you could get a reading with mom, you could get a reading with me, or we could do a reading together. Uh, and you know, basically you're, you're getting information from two people. So that's a lot of info, but if that's what, what you want, feeling, then that's what you're feeling. And, um, the options right now would be for, you know, if you're local and you feel comfortable with meeting in person, we can do that. Um, we can, you know, wear masks and that's not a problem. Or if you would prefer not to do that, or if you're not local, we would do a recorded video. So whenever you would book your reading, we would sit down or I would sit down or mom would sit down and record it and then send it over to you digitally. So, yeah. Anything else? Um, I don't think so. Not that I can think of. Okay. I think the only other thing that I wanted to... Oh, did you want to talk about the name change? Yeah. The other thing that I wanted to mention was uh, basically the why we changed the page name. One, I think it was really complicated. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really long page name. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then also, I, uh, I came up with the idea and I ran it past mom and we were just talking about it. Well, you know, what if we do something that emphasizes the fact that it's a collective energy? You know, this is not just things that we are picking up on. This is information coming to you through us as the channels from spirit, from angels, from deities, from your ancestors. This is really about working with the ancestors, those who want to help us uh, and allowing them to come through with, you know, what's presented on the board. Um, and so the, the notion of having a collective group of items to me emulated the the magpie and um you know there's european folklore that has said that magpies like to steal things or they like to collect objects and shiny things and that's actually been proven false there have been scientific studies that prove that magpies don't naturally um choose to take shiny objects that it kind of intimidates them so the the animal totem meaning behind the magpie basically is related to um you know, loving energy, loyal energy. They're very loyal to friends and family. Um, magpies often travel in groups or pairs. And um, the Eurasian magpie, which is the, the version that you see in the logo, is actually one of the most intelligent animals on the planet. 
So, you know, and if you see us, we, we, as far as like what it looks like, we, I think it's a perfect example of um, the perfect animal to choose because it's black and white and we like to wear black. <laughs> <laughs> It's all my favorite colors. But then also, but then also, the colors on the bird are literally um, black, white, blue, and green. Blue, throat, communication, heart, space, green. So it's to me, it's it's a fabulous um, example. And plus, they're from the corvid family. So crows, ravens, birds, very much uh, an animal totem that I work with as well. And so they're basically they signify you know high spirituality as well as um, the the teamwork and the communication and the expression so and I think our readings are collective it's mm -hmm. what we see what we feel downloads we get messages we get it's not just one thing it's a collection right of all of those things coming together mm -hmm. and if you've had a reading with us in the past you've probably been witness to that of like well you come in for cards but Lo and behold, somebody's here bringing a message through her about, you know, something that you need to be aware of. So it's not just us. It's it's a collective effort. Mm -hmm. And so um, we really wanted to, to emulate that with the, the name itself. So good morning, guys. Um, other than that, I think that answers pretty much or that covers all of the things that I have written down that I wanted to talk about. Um... If you are interested in getting a reading with us, you know, feel free to let us know. You can send an email, you can message through the page, you can call us if you would like to and um, we'll, we'll do that for you. The other thing that I would like to say is that we uh, will be posting regular content to the YouTube channel. So if you have not checked that out yet, I know that first video was not perfect, um, but if you want to check it out, you know, subscribe. And uh, we'll we'll post content on there because this is a long weekend. I'm going to be recording some videos uh, to post on there and, and to have those ready to go. And if there are specific things that you want to know about, feel free to chime in. I'm just going to follow my intuition on like the topics of the videos. But if you have specific, you know, things that you're interested in, like hearing from spirit guides, specifically hearing from anybody that, you know, is in your family that has crossed over anything like that uh, feel free to to let me know and I can do a video on that and uh, we'll we'll get that on there for you and yeah we would like to do this in person you know at events and stuff whenever that can happen again I know that the Iowa City Metaphysical Expo got canceled for this year and so um, that won't be happening but you know maybe next year 2021 we'll be able to do stuff at uh, events so that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Any but, comments? Um, Just people saying good morning, which oh, is great. Okay, <laughs> good. Oh. So, yeah, like I said, if you guys want to know any more information or if you have questions, feel free to let us know. Uh, otherwise, we will be on the page, we'll be active, and then we'll be active on the YouTube channel. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you around. Yeah, okay. Well, thanks for tuning in. If you tune in, you know, within the last couple of minutes here, I'll leave the video up so that you can watch the replay. And hope you guys are doing well. Bye-bye.